At 2.10 p.m. on 21st November, Dubai time, at the world's largest aviation event, the Dubai Air Show, this demonstration should have been a moment of pride for India. Thousands looked to the sky and millions watched on screens worldwide. But within seconds, pride turned into tragedy. During its display, the Indian Air Force Tejas fighter jet lost control and crashed. Spectators were stunned. The accident occurred while Tejas was performing a barrel maneuver, a negative G maneuver demanding extreme precision at low altitude. Representing one's country at such an event brings both great honor and enormous pressure. Senior commanders, test pilots, engineers and aviation experts were watching. This was the second Tejas crash in two years. Before technical analysis, I offer condolences to the family of Wing Commander Namanash Sayal, to the pioneers of the Tejas program, Number 45 Squadron, Flying Daggers and to the Indian Air Force. After speaking with the senior Pakistan Air Force leadership yesterday, I convey BAF's sorrow to the grieving family. This was not a combat kill, a family mourns, a nation grieves and an Air Force investigates. But an essential question remains, was this accident a coincidence or the result of long-standing manufacturing, technical or organizational weaknesses within the Tejas program? Now let's discuss this crash and the Tejas program in detail. To understand this incident, Tejas must be viewed as a system, not a symbol. Critiquing its weaknesses is not anti-India, it is pro-India. For 40 years, these shortcomings have prevented the IF from receiving the fighter it envisioned. Tejas development began in 1985, induction occurred in 2016. This long timeline reflects shifting requirements, technology gaps, redesigns and compromises driven as much by politics and bureaucracy as engineering. Hull Records has long been questioned. Low production capability, component quality issues, supply chain delays, manual assembly imprecision and weak ground testing. Units have reported leaks, panel misalignment, vibrations and ground falls and seal failures as well. Tejas was meant for an Indian engine that was never completed. So, GE F404, F414 engines were fitted instead, not originally designed for this airframe. This mismatch caused thrust limits, payload constraints, and intake turbulence at high angles of attack, raising aerobatic risks. Tejas software and flight control systems remain immature. Conflicts within the fly-by-wire system have been noted. Airshow pilots push the aircraft to aerodynamic limits. Even minor lag can be fatal. The IAF has repeatedly complained about the slow development, maintenance issues, reliability concerns and low availability. Air Marshal AP Singh said, at this point, I have no confidence in Hull. For years, the IAF's view has been, we need a fighter jet, not a political project. Tejas became a symbol of Atmanirbhar Bharat rather than a purely technical project. Political deadlines overtook engineering timelines. Airshow appearances were prioritized and test flights became showcases. Tejas regularly appeared at airshows while software, engine integration and avionics were still maturing. Now let's talk about the human or technical causes. To understand the crash, it helps to analyze Tejas 2022 Singapore airshow performance. The maneuver resembles a knife edge pass but was actually an outside turn under continuous negative G's. Negative G is far more dangerous than positive G. Under negative G, blood is forced towards the head. When the pilot rolls upright, blood drains rapidly from the brain. If positive G is applied immediately afterward, the
the sudden drop can cause partial or complete loss of consciousness a lock the pilot may still hold the controls but lose awareness of altitude and attitude right after the negative G phase the Tejas nose dropped sharply with no recovery attempt classic a lock example the negative to positive transition was instantaneous the pilot likely lost consciousness at that moment a small white flash appears before impact likely the ejection seat broke chute whether triggered manually or automatically is unclear the ejection was extremely low and far too late this is the danger of low level aerobatics a maneuver may succeed a hundred times but one moment of physiological vulnerability can prove fatal the GEF 404 IN20 is a proven design with nearly 4,000 units built it is known for stable airflow and resistance to compressor stalls oil or fuel leakage under the Tejas at the air show however was abnormal still a compressor stall or engine failure appears unlikely the engine has sufficient thrust for recovery at adequate altitude so what is the future of Tejas? Tejas was pitched for export to Malaysia, Indonesia, Egypt, Argentina, the Philippines, Australia and even the United States. This single accident has damaged its international reputation and future prospects. But tragedies teach lessons if nations choose to learn them. Thank you so much for watching. This documentary is unbiased and based on facts. I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay tuned for more documentaries. Allah Hafiz.